To Kill a Mockingbird is a classic novel written by Harper Lee, published in 1960. It's set in the fictional town of Maycomb, Alabama, during the 1930s, and is narrated by Jean Louise, Scout, Finch, a young girl. The story revolves around Scout, her brother Jem, and their father Atticus Finch, a lawyer. In the small town of Maycomb, Alabama, during the 1930s, lives a young girl named Scout Finch. She lives with her older brother Jem and their father Atticus, who is a lawyer. Scout narrates the story, and she's an adventurous and curious young girl. Life in Maycomb Maycomb is a typical southern town where everyone knows each other's business. The Finch family is well respected, but they are different from many of their neighbors. Atticus teaches Scout and Jem important life lessons, such as treating everyone with kindness and respect, regardless of their background. The Mystery of Boo Radley Scout and Jem are fascinated by their reclusive neighbor, Boo Radley. They've heard rumors about him, including stories that he's a monster who comes out at night to eat cats and squirrels. Boo's real name is Arthur Radley, but everyone in town calls him Boo. Childhood Adventures Scout, Jem, and their friend Dill spend their summers together, coming up with imaginative games and trying to catch a glimpse of Boo Radley. They also become curious about a mysterious house in their neighborhood, the Radley Place, where Boo lives with his family. Atticus takes on a case. Atticus is appointed to defend Tom Robinson, a black man accused of raping a white woman named Mayella Ewell. This case stirs up controversy in Maycomb because it challenges the town's deeply ingrained racial prejudices. Atticus believes in defending Tom to the best of his ability, despite facing criticism from some of his neighbors. The Trial of Tom Robinson The trial of Tom Robinson becomes a focal point of the story. Atticus presents a strong case, showing that there is no solid evidence against Tom and that Mayella's father, Bob Ewell, is likely responsible for her injuries. However, the jury, made up of all white men, still convicts Tom because of the town's racial biases. Lessons in Empathy Throughout the trial, Scout and Jem learn about empathy and compassion. They see how unfair the world can be, especially for people like Tom Robinson who are judged based on their skin color rather than their character. Atticus teaches them to understand others' perspectives and to stand up for what is right, even when it's difficult. The Ewells and Mayella's Accusation the Ewells are a poor and troubled family in Maycomb. Bob Ewell, Mayella's father, is known for his laziness and drunkenness. During the trial, it becomes clear that Mayella's accusations against Tom Robinson are likely false, and that Bob Ewell is trying to cover up his own abuse of his daughter. Racism and Prejudice To Kill a Mockingbird explores the themes of racism and prejudice in the Deep South during the 1930s. The town's treatment of Tom Robinson and the Ewells highlights the systemic injustices faced by African Americans and the ways in which racial prejudices can lead to false accusations and unfair treatment. Boo Radley's Kindness Despite the town's fear of Boo Radley, Scout and Jem come to realize that he is not the monster they imagined. Boo is actually a kind and gentle person who secretly looks out for them. He leaves them small gifts and performs acts of kindness, such as mending Jem's pants when they are torn. The Attack on Scout and Jem The climax of the novel occurs when Bob Ewell seeks revenge on Atticus for defending Tom Robinson by attacking Scout and Jem on their way home from a school pageant. Jem is badly injured, but Boo Radley intervenes and saves them, ultimately killing Bob Ewell in the process. Boo Radley Revealed Scout finally meets Boo Radley face to face and realizes that he is not the scary figure she imagined. Boo is shy and awkward, but he shows genuine affection for Scout and Jem. Scout comes to see Boo as a friend and understands that he was trying to protect them all along. Justice and Mercy In the aftermath of Bob Ewell's death, the town's sheriff, Heck Tate, decides to protect Boo Radley from the public eye. He attributes Bob's death to an accident, sparing Boo from facing legal consequences. This act of mercy highlights the theme of justice and the importance of understanding and forgiveness. Conclusion, Lessons Learned 
To Kill a Mockingbird concludes with Scout reflecting on the lessons she has learned about empathy, courage, and the complexities of human nature. The novel leaves readers with a powerful message about the importance of standing up for what is right and treating others with compassion and respect, even in the face of injustice.